another good morning. Nice and calm day out here today. Not much of a wind, so that is fantastic news. Yeah, my remote battery was dead, so I needed to charge it this morning before we could start videotaping. Yes, indeed, because we are wireless. We're hands-free, basically. So, yeah. Now we are already in Iowa. Yes, indeed, we are. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day out here to be driving. And no thunderstorms, I guess, today. As of right now, anyways. <laughs> Humidity is a little high, but other than that, we're just... Having a fantastic morning. Yeah. Looks like we're uh, going to be uh, making it very close to Fargo tonight, I think. We'll see exactly how close we make it, but uh, yeah. Going to be a good day worth of driving today, I think. Yes, indeed it will be. Tomorrow we'll be home already. Yeah, unless something goes wrong, right? Yeah. Anyways, we will continue cruising along there and we will show you what we can. Alrighty guys, we've been cruising again for a good while now already. Yeah, we did make us a pit stop there a little bit ago. We went to do a little grocery shopping yeah I really enjoy these uh, quick stops like quick trips quick star, uh, star I think they call them they're pretty much identical and they got a lot of groceries in there and they're a lot better prices than other truck stops I don't know what we got over here we got a smoky bear but it doesn't look like he's got a capture he just got his lights on. I think the car just left. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Maybe he had a capture earlier and he just writing up his paperwork, I suppose. But anyways, yeah, we went and did a little grocery shop in there. We were starting to run low on stuff, so pretty good prices there I think so anyways <clears throat> a lot better for sure than truck stops that, that's a fact well I mean this is a truck stop too but what I mean like some of the big chains like Flying J, Pilot, TA and Petros and all of them they're usually fairly expensive yes indeed <coughs> I think on this exit there's a pilot where we were at the other day where we took a shower oh, okay. 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 yeah Evansdale well up there I think it's called Elk Run Heights yeah that's what it is so we will be in Waterloo here in a few minutes and then we'll be cruising along here on that 281. I think the way it's got us routed is go up to 281 north, like we are on 380 right now. Go on 281 north up to uh, US 18, take that over up to uh, I-35 and then that up to Minneapolis and then up to I-94. Yeah, but as you can see, it gotten a little bit cloudy today. Earlier it was nice and sunny, like I said on the earlier clip, and all of a sudden it started getting pretty cloudy up here. But oh well. Yeah, we're kind of thinking about maybe going camping this weekend yet. I don't know if we will actually go or not. We haven't quite decided yet, but we're thinking about it. Because our daughter is going to be in Winnipeg till Tuesday. And I'm going to take Monday off anyways because I want to get my alternator fixed on my APU unit. So I'm sort of thinking of, you know, 
going camping. That would be nice. We haven't done that in a long time. I don't think we've done that in a couple of years. Go camping just by ourselves, you know? I don't remember when the last time was. It's been a good while, that's for sure. We've always gone with friends and stuff, but I haven't really gone just by ourselves, so I think that would be a good, good idea. Get to enjoy some family time. Go camping just by ourselves. But anyways, we'll continue cruising along here. And uh, we'll see what we will decide on. Alrighty guys, we are here at the Petro. Up here in uh, Albert Lee, Minnesota. And I want to show you guys a beautiful Peterbilt, guys. Let's look at this beautiful Peterbilt up here. Wow, isn't that gorgeous or what? My goodness, that's a beautiful, beautiful truck. But anyways, we just had us a shower. Now we're, uh, the wife is still in the shower, so we want to go back there and go see what she's up to, see if she's done yet. But anyways, this is the truck stop, as you guys can see. Fairly big uh, truck stop over here. Yeah, that's a big building up there, that's for sure. A gorgeous place too, they got lots of cool stuff in there, so gonna go inside and go get the wife. All right, guys, the sheriff is in town. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. <laughs> the sheriff is in town, for sure. Yeah, we're inside here at the truck stop, and they got all kinds of hats over here, so. Yeah, they're checking the hats out. How would you like to have a skunk on your head? Yeah, let's try this. <laughs> Let's try this. Look at that, guys. <laughs> I'm looking inside there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, we're having fun. Just walking around the truck stop here and see what kind of goodies they got in here. Eh? Lisa and Scott. Yeah, look at that, guys. <laughs> We got the chicken in the house. We got even more ones over here. Oh my. Lisa, you might want to consider making a trip over here. They got all kinds of stuff for you over here. Yeah, look at that. Another one over here. Yeah, I think we're going we're gonna to have to take a picture and send Lisa a picture. I think so. All right, guys, we got a challenge for you. How many of you remember me standing in front of these guys over here? and taking a video yes how many of you have been around on my channel for that long huh yeah that must be a while eh uh-huh i think so yeah look at that <laughs> yeah if you remember that you've been around for a good while i know that for sure because it's been a long time since i've been over here we got mama bear and papa bear over here yes indeed you certainly do. They got all kinds of goodies in here. But anyways, we're getting ready to get out of here. We are finally out of there, out of that truck stop now. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> that felt really good having a nice shower like that again. Oh yeah, now we feel nice and refreshed. We got out of there. We discovered the rooster in there. Yeah. That's right. We and uh, me and Scott and Lisa were always joking around about chickens and stuff like that. So I might even title this video "We Found the Rooster." <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Some of you might wonder what is that all about, but that's a joke that we always have with uh, Lisa and Scott. I always joke around about that and stuff like that so <laughs> they had quite a few of them in there so that was quite interesting yes indeed it was but anyways we got about uh, 75 more miles to go to Minneapolis yes indeed and it is Friday so hopefully that traffic won't be too bad over there I kind of doubt it, but uh, we'll see, I guess. We got about an hour and a half, I guess, to find out, right? But yeah, it's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so... 
it's going to be right around the time where rush hour starts, but I guess that's all right. We'll just have to deal with it. It's the way it goes. But anyways, we'll continue cruising and see what happens. Well, guys, we finally have gotten through Minneapolis. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad traffic coming through there, but hey, we made it through there. Yes, indeed we did. Safe and sound. Yeah. That's the main part, right? As long as we get through there safe, sound and safe, we're good to go. Yes, indeed. I kind of doubt it, though, that we will make it up to Fargo tonight because of the delay up there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. No matter what, we will get somewhere and spend the night and continue our journey tomorrow. Yes, indeed. We finally gotten a little bit of a clearer sky. Earlier it was still fairly cloudy and now the temperature is starting to rise and the sun is peeking through every once in a while so we like that. Yes indeed. But we got plans for tonight to cook some stew. Yeah, we're gonna have some good supper. The wife is really spoiling me. <laughs> Making me sandwiches and Oh yeah, burgers, stew, and all that good stuff. Yep. She's a good woman. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that, another penner. Yeah, I haven't seen too many of them around lately. Now we are on 94, so I guess we're going to start seeing more of them. Yeah, we got about uh, 192 more miles to Fargo, so it's about three hours, maybe a little bit more than three hours, but yeah, that's a good drive yet. Yeah? Kind of doubted that it's going to happen, but oh well, about 20 miles before that, or I mean 40 miles before that, there's a truck stop there, so I think up to there we should be able to make it with our 11 hours, so... Maybe we'll just call it a day over there. Yes, indeed. See, now the sun is shining again. Gorgeous day today, not windy at all. Lovely day, that's for sure. We had us a good shower earlier. We're just feeling like we are ready to roll for another few hundred miles. <laughs> yeah, I'm not tired at all today. I feel great today. Yesterday we were sitting around a lot, getting loaded, not loaded, and all that. Kind of makes you tired. At least it does me. But today we're just giving her. Look at that. There's one guy going camping already. I mean, it's Friday afternoon. What do you expect, right? Kind of wish I could do the same thing, go camping right now. But we're going to try again tomorrow. Maybe we can go camping tomorrow. Maybe we get lucky tomorrow. That would be kind of nice. We'll see what happens, right? Alrighty, guys, we are finished for today with driving at least. But guess what? We're up to cooking again. <laughs> yeah, we love cooking in the truck, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Wife is cooking us some stew again. Yeah, we're only about 267 miles from Winnipeg. About four and a half hours we should be in Winnipeg. So hopefully uh, we can get our border crossing uh, settled here before we get to the border. We still haven't gotten the okay that uh, our border has been accepted yet. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I think we're getting hungry here. So. Let's have us a bite to eat here pretty soon. Well guys, told you my wife was cooking some stew. Look at that. <laughs> Gonna be good, eh? Oh, it is good. I already did a taste test. It is very good. So I'm hungry. We're gonna go have a bite to eat. Alrighty guys, as I told you earlier, we're done for today. So 
we had us a very nice supper and I did see a red Volvo over there in the corner he was parked there when we pulled in over here and he was uh, I saw him carrying what I thought was antifreeze and uh, so I went go check on him see how he was doing and stuff like that see if he was okay or if he needed anything and he said yeah he was fine he said he had a uh, antifreeze line that broke on him and uh, it's not his truck and he said uh, his boss claimed that there was no mechanic available in the area so he had to fix it himself which I find a little hard to believe I just think that the uh, owner operator or the owner just doesn't want to pay for uh, somebody to come out here and fix that he just wants the driver to fix it I think that's wrong but hey that's the way some ple some people operate but uh, at least I went over there and asked him if he was okay or if he needed help or whatever and he was okay he had just finished uh, fixing the line and uh, he was pouring antifreeze back in there and he started it up and she was running okay so didn't look like there was any more leaks so he was okay but uh, yeah that's not good you know but anyways uh, we're gonna get out of here I hope you guys have a good uh, good day I just had to share that little bit with you guys so uh, for those of you that uh, are drivers out here you know it's not always easy out here that's just the way it is but that's it for me we're out of here watch us again tomorrow morning right here on trucker rudy be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up if you're new to our channel we'd love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button here in the corner so with that being said be safe out there everybody we'll catch you on the next one right here behind me that day is gonna come